Hey everyone, I'm Twisty Steves and I'm back with another Twisty tutorial. Now today's tutorial is all about how to import new effects, transitions, and generators into Final Cut Pro X. So we'll jump right into the tutorial here by going to Google Chrome because of course the first thing that you're going to need is the effect transition or generator. So there are two very useful websites that I found in just a few minutes of research. The first one is called FCPX Free. Dot com. This is a very helpful website. The main reason I find this website very helpful is because they have a section here called Browse by Type. So here we have effects, here we have generators, here we have text, here we have transitions, app store collections, and of course tutorials, which is all very helpful. And it also helps you define what you're looking for much more easily. The second website that we have is called 4DTV.com slash downloads. So you want to get this link. I will put it in the description below. 4dtv.com slash downloads is a bit different from fcpxfree.com. So I will show you how both of these websites work because they both have a slightly different way of doing these things. All right, so we'll start with fcpxfree.com. Okay, so I want to find an effect for this video right here. And the video is very simple. It's just my camera moving up some mountain terrain. And so I want to find a cool effect to really bring out something intriguing about that video. So I will go into effects. And here I am. So here we have several, several different effects. We have this thing called Acid Trip right here, which looks very intriguing. They also have an effect called 3D Sale Price. So if you're a local business owner and you'd like to create your own advertisement homemade, this helps you quite a lot with that. All right, but that's not what I'm looking for. So moving on, I think that what I want is this Better Light Rays right here. So what I do is I click on Better Light Rays, and here I am in the Better Light Rays page. So they have a very interesting way of doing it. Uh, you can read here, it's by Mikey Bo... Bochi Rahi? I have no idea how to pronounce that, so we're just going to move on. Uh, we have right here a link that says full details and download link. So you click that, and what it's going to do is it's going to open a new tab and bring you to this. Okay, so here we are on Better Light Rays by Mikey or whatever his last name is. So he has a little tutorial here on how to use it, and he has descriptions, the features, a couple screenshots. Anyway, we're not really worried about that because we're going to get into that with this tutorial. What you're looking for is this download button right here. So it's really simple. All you do is click the download button, and it automatically starts downloading in a zip file right down here. Okay, so once this is finished downloading, you go into your finder, into your downloads, or wherever it is it downloaded for you. And here we have light rays and beta latra dot 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 dollar dot zip. Whatever that file full name is, I have no idea. Anyway, like I said in my how to import new fonts Final Cut Pro X tutorial, all you do to open a zip file is click it. Bam. You wait for that to open, it automatically opens. And voila. So I'm gonna drag this over here. So here we have light rays and better light rays installer. So what you do for this website is you simply click the effect and what it's going to do is it's going to open up an installer. So all you do when this comes up is click open. Here we go, it's down here bouncing up and down. So we come over here, we click it. And what you do is you need to agree to the license agreement. So you click agree, install. The plugin was successfully installed. Bam, now you're done. You can X out of this, you can delete these. You don't need those anymore. Now we go into Final Cut Pro. And here we have that video I was talking about with the mountain terrain. Let's go into our effects. We scroll down until we find it. It says, made by, made by Mikey. Hmm. I'm assuming that that's the effect that we're looking for. And here we have better light rays and light rays. So let's just add this uh, light rays effect to this first and see what this looks like. And voila, here we have better light rays. Now that's just how you do it for one website. So let me undo this. And let's go back into 4DTV.com and see how they download it. Now here you have several different effects. Now this acid trip is very interesting. I already have that one. Here we have a cartoon effect. I probably already have that one too. What I don't have, however, is this power bleach effect for FCPX. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the download button, which is fairly obvious. Wait for that to load. And voila, it's already starting to download. Here we go. Let's count down with it. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, ooh, uh, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and bam, it's downloaded. So now what do we do with this one? Well, it's a zip files. So let's go back into our downloads. Here we have the 4DTV PowerBleach.zip. Click it to open it. Bam, there you go. We have the exact same installer here. We click it, opens up the installer. 
Yes, I would like to open it. Thank you for asking. Come down here, click the little bouncy juggler, click agree to the license agreement, install, okie dokie, completely installed, it was successful, let's just delete those, we don't need those anymore, now let's go into Final Cut Pro, into our transitions, no effects, into our effects, and find it. Now I'm guessing it's going to be under the 4D TV category, here we have the acid trip that I just mentioned earlier, and power bleach, so let me just drag power bleach over here. And voila, Power Bleach. So both of those websites are very similar. Sometimes, though, they do it much differently than what I just showed you. So here we go. We're going to go back into fcpx.free.com because they have a slightly different way of doing it for each effect sometimes because these effects are created by different people. Okie doke, so I found one called Binocular and Scope Effects. Now this is a really cool one, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and bring us into that effect because that's a really cool effect to have for some of your short films or vlogs or whatever it is that you guys use this crap for. So here we have Binocular and Scope Effects. So we're going to click full details and download the link like we have with every other one, but except the steps after this are going to be slightly different. Now, as you can see, this website is already pretty different from every other website that we've looked at so far because it's a link. So we're going to scroll down. Here we have the authentic binocular and scope effects for Final Cut Pro X. My guess is it's a tutorial or a preview of some kind. Have a bunch of information, preview. So here we go. Okay, so there's two buttons. There's one here at the top and one here at the bottom. So it doesn't matter which one you click, just click free. And what's going to happen is it's going to open a tab and automatically begin your download down here. Okay, so it has about 20 seconds left. I'm going to speed that up for you. Voila. So here it is, downloads. So we go into our downloads. And here we have the zip file, glass.zip. So we're going to click it just like we have with every other zip file. Except, uh-oh, here we have something completely different. We don't have an installer. We have a folder. We go into the folder, and what do you have? We have two other folders. We go into those folders. There's pictures. There's weird MOTI files. Most people don't even know what this stuff is. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to import this folder right here into your effects in Final Cut Pro X anyway. So in order to do this, we're going to have to go into our movie section right here. Go into your movie sections, and here you'll have several different folders and weird things. So what you're looking for is a motion templates folder right here. Here we have it right here. So go into motion templates folder. You have several folders here. You have compositions, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. Now, if you have a generator, you of course are going to want to go into your generators folder. If you have a title, go into your titles folder. If you have a transition, go into your transitions folder. However, we have an effect, the binocular and scope effect. So we're going to go into our effects folder. And here we have the other effects that I've already imported the other way with the installer. So let's go back in the downloads here. We're going to copy stupid raisins glass folder <laughs> that is such an odd name anyway we copy it we go back into movies motion templates effects and what we're going to do is very simple we are going to paste that folder into this folder and voila there it is so now we have the effect imported but in order to get in Final Cut Pro we're going to have to X out of Final Cut Pro first and restart it because it doesn't just magically appear unfortunately when you import it that way so we're going to X out and wait for that to finish and once again I'm going to speed up because I have a very slow computer now we have to open Final Cut Pro X again and our effect will be there so here we go I'm going to click it and here we are in Final Cut Pro X and bam, it should be in here in your effects. So voila, there you go. That's how you import uh, new effects, transitions, and generators into Final Cut Pro. For those of you who like this tutorial, feel free to like it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them the best I know how. Also, if you would like more twisty tutorials, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That's the only way I can keep making these guys. Anyway, have a great day, Grace.